Hello people and welcome back to my channel. Arthur is here and today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. How to kickstart programming if you're a complete beginner. Let's start. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the fear. The um, thing that kind of stops you from actually even trying to start. So you have an idea that you want to start programming but you kind of are in fear of things like for example I need to know math, I need to know I don't know, physics um, or some other stuff or uh, you need a computer science degree uh, or special skills to understand. But I will open a very interesting insight to you, which is you don't need any of those. And even problem solving is something you can build up. So first tip is to overcome your fear. Don't be afraid of any stereotypes that are in your mind. Second tip is motivation and if you don't have motivation nothing really will work out for you. So you need something. Uh, there are various options and um, there are pros and cons to each of the uh, options you may choose but well ideally you would have a couple of things that motivates you but some examples can be like money, uh, work from office, you can remote work if you are a programmer or coder, um, you love problem solving and stuff like that so there are many variations and there are pros and cons to each uh, so one of the worst motivators are money because Everyone knows that programmers are earning quite good salaries and they can earn on site, etc. So it's quite a uh, good financially supported kind of uh, job. But if you will be only motivated by this, this will lead you to fail, especially at the beginning, because you will be motivated by money. But when you learn stuff, if your focus is around cash, you will not get any cash and your motivation will burn out very quickly and you will stop at this point basically and you will never continue and come back to this learning curve. So that's tip number two. Yeah, find your motivation, ideally a couple of things that motivates you most and make it a main driver for your um, uh, learning process. Once you overcome your fears and you found your motivation, you will need to start looking for things you want to um, learn. And in order to start somewhere, you need to kind of understand what type of uh, programming you want to learn. There are so many variations, but the good thing is that you can switch uh, at basically whatever stage you are on, uh, but you need to kickstart somewhere. So there are a couple of things you need to bear in mind. You need to choose your platform, uh, which means basically you can develop something for mobile phones, for um, tablets, for uh, computers or websites, web applications and there are splits in there as well like things for example uh, like back-end, front-end which means basically you are leaning towards more UI, user experience kind of type of engineering or you want more like a data orientated where you have all the um, fancy programming stuff but no UI at all. So you will need to make a choice over there basically and it's very important but don't get overwhelmed with variety of options just choose something that fits you well so use your gut feeling and this will help you to kind of kick start and then as I said you can choose um, something else along the way if you will wish to. Once you've decided which stack you're going with and which platform you want to build apps for, you need to build your foundation. You need to learn basics, you need to learn some toolings like IDEs, operating systems that you're going to use, etc, etc. So you will be basically um, in position where you need to start learning things like variables, some um, basics of the language like uh, constructions, operators, etc. Et uh, some UI bits if you want to build some sort of application with some interfaces and then um, you will be in position where you are basically diving deeper into like courses, uh, YouTube videos, reading books, reading articles, etc. And there is 
it's all good but there is one danger zone in this you can stuck in uh, some sort of a uh, learning loop you know so you will be constantly um, looping in this uh, learning kind of process and the reason for that is again uh, fear so <clears throat> we kind of get back to our first tip uh, where uh, you need to overcome your fear again and this is something you're gonna you're gonna uh, face quite often eventually but the thing is that it's not like you are afraid of something it's more about psychological barrier where you need to understand oh I need to move further from here and basically at this stage once you have built up your foundation with your some basic skills you know how to use language you know how to build some basic UI so in theory you kind of can already build an application so that means you need to kickstart your uh, small project or some sort of a application that you can build from end to end you know and this is very important because many people stuck in this loop of learning constantly and they are afraid of actually uh, switching to a project work even though it's a simple thing and um, it may be very obvious a lot of people are actually afraid they think all the time that they are not ready that they can't do it but trust me since you know what variable is and if statement is and if you can build some basic UI you already can build some basic application that's it so you need to build your foundation and kickstart a project and if you don't know what project you can build you can google it there are loads of ideas online you can message me in the comments below uh, and we can find out some interesting ideas one of the basics usually are like blog post website to do application or um, something very simple which simply kind of solves a tiny problem basically so that's what you need to do next and this leads us to um, next tip which is continuous motivation basically once you kick started your uh, learning curve you need to kind of start building your skills etc and some knowledge it will be a lot of stuff so you might have become a, a little bit overwhelmed with all this because you didn't know anything about this and now you dive deep to this programming coding kind of world where you need to learn a lot right so and building project for example uh, will be one of the things that will allow you to motivate yourself a little bit more for longer periods so in order to not get um, <clears throat> burned out uh, and be motivated uh, for a longer period you need to find your um, extra supportive motivation so one of the things might be an interesting application that you can build or maybe you have some friends who can help you uh, with the ideas or or you might have some friends who need some um, interesting maybe simple application to solve their problem uh, and you may be one of those people who can help and build this application um, so yeah find your continuous motivation so some small bit so you have a global motivation like for example uh, be a very good developer blah 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 earn more money etc but you need like a small micro <clears throat> um, motivations that will kind of help you to last longer in your um, learning path basically so the next step is keep consistency do not surrender this is very important this is psychological blocker and basically um it's very kind of interesting one because you can compare it to a, um, a tendency to the gym for example so if you ever struggle with attending gym uh, for exercising and losing weight for example you probably have faced things like for example you've been attending gym for like a month then you had a break for whatever reasons for a week uh, and even if you have been going to the gym like three months even half a year sometimes just one week break can basically broke your complete pattern and you lose your motivation and you basically become lazy you drowning to this kind of demotivational state where you don't want to go and you don't you can't really even explain why so the same the very same problem you will face with programming if you have already started 
learning stuff and especially if you went through this process for a while and you have achieved some good results do not stop if you're overwhelmed if you feel tired or you need some sort of a break don't make it very long so take a rest for a day but don't make it like a week or two weeks or like whatever time period well you feel like oh I will just pause it and then I will get back to it no it's even worse than with the gym because with the gym you can kind of kickstart it again and you remember your exercises etc but with programming you're learning new stuff you need to remember you need to re memorize a lot of stuff you need to build up your logical thinking kind of abilities and problem solving so these skills they need a uh, repetition they need a exercise it's like your muscles basically um, but just in your brain obviously so you need to keep consistently consistently building them up and train them and exercise so do not make any big breaks okay so as I mentioned, you need to build a project eventually and ideally you would need to focus on maybe more than one project and it doesn't have to be like a huge application which solves a drastic big uh, problem. It can be like a to-do app, it can be whatever, it can be very simple, I don't know, camera application or you, do, you don't need to worry about the complexity. It's more about consistency and regularity of building some small projects so that you can uh, build something end to end. And it kind of leads us to a next tip, which is develop your problem solving skills. And as I mentioned at the very beginning on the uh, overcome fear tip, you have to build your problem solving skill. And it is uh, something you can become good at so it's not a um, something that people has been born with okay this is not a special skill of just a rare people it's something you can train and exercise and in order to do that you need to build your own projects they can be small but just regularly do them and you will build up your problem solving skills and uh, in order to do this better, I can give you a small tip. So if you have a big problem, like your complete application um, uh, thing that you want to build, uh, it's a big problem. Don't try to solve it in one go as a one big thing, okay? In programming, once you will learn more and more about the kind of world of engineering, you will find out that it's very important to uh, chunk your bigger problems to smaller problems and these smaller problems even to like micro problems okay and then s solve them in a very small pieces okay and this kind of solves couple of things first of all you're not overwhelmed you design your applications better it kind of improves your solving uh, problem solving because you will think about small bits that will be uh, kind of creating a uh, and solution for a bigger problem if you like okay so you're not overwhelming yourself with trying to keep in mind everything okay last but not least tip is what can help you alongside on your journey okay and i have a couple of things i prepared for you one thing is your friends or friends of your friends so someone you may know or you may get hold of who can help you on your journey someone who's already in this industry uh, so if it's your friend it's even better because this person can help you with the uh, with your choices of language platform give you a direction into uh, into the industry and help you with things to learn or with the resources better courses better kind of uh, channels on YouTube for example uh, where to start and how to continue and if you will have any sort of a questions or demotivational days you can speak to this person basically and it will kind of boost your uh, motivation a little bit as well so this is very important another one is you should join communities so if you are using any social networks like Twitter Facebook Instagram uh, whatever other networks basically you prefer there are loads of channels loads of communities groups etc that you can follow they are even available per language per platform per 
frameworks etc so there are so many varieties you can choose from uh, and this will really help you not from just being informed about the stuff they there are in in the world of engineering but you can also contribute and um, there are loads of people who are very keen to help you so you can ask questions you can fire ideas there you can ask even people for ideas for your own projects etc yeah and don't forget about things like reddit stack overflow so there are loads of communities in there as well uh, so don't underestimate these um, things and be social in your learning path this is very important because this will boost your progress a lot okay folks i really hope you did enjoy this video because i really really want to help you uh to kickstart your programming career and there are so many things that are blocking people uh, from even starting or trying this and uh, they are mostly are ridiculous because people don't really know much about this uh, engineering world and they really just are either in fear or they are confused they have stereotypes in their minds etc so i really hope this video helps you to kind of uh, to vanish some of these and help you to be motivated a little bit more to kind of kickstart uh, programming uh, if you have any questions put them down below into the comment section if you are new to the channel please subscribe i will release more videos like that and um, other videos as well uh, this channel is about uh, mentorship coding tutorials etc primarily around the engineering world so you will find loads of interesting stuff here so like and subscribe and see you in the next one